Hey guys, it's Drunkards and Dragons. Got another episode for you how to play D&D like a big old grown ass man. Today, we are going to be making flickering LED torches. So it's pretty easy to make flickering LED torches that just burn the battery. Like you just glue everything together and kind of stick it in there and whatever. But the way we're gonna do it, you can replace your battery. That way you don't have to make these because these are a little tedious to make. There's some soldering and some shenanigans involved. So if you check it out, we got the workshop ready to go. Pan down, cameraman. You're gonna want your glue gun, your soldering iron, uh, just a little bit of solder. I mean, you barely need any. Um, a couple paper clips, uh, wooden skewers, your cheese ball little tea lights. Um, you can get these at the hobby store, but uh, they're kind of big and bulky and they're way overpriced. On Amazon, you can get a box of 24 of these guys for like 10 bucks, so that's much smarter. A little bit of shrink tubing can be helpful to present shorts in your circuit. Um, shrink tubing is used in automotive wiring and other stuff like that, so if you have some around, great. If you don't, not a big deal. You can improvise with a glue gun or other things. Okay, so this is uh, how we're gonna do it. Now I'm gonna bring you in close. There you go. So this is the piece. Um, pretty cool, right? Here's uh, some scale, here's Paladin. So they're a little bigger than you would want for true scale, but that's okay. So now here's the magic part. The bottom has a spring-loaded lid. Like that. And that's where your battery is. So you keep this little circuit working in here now. I don't know if you can see it, this is some small stuff. But, uh, there you go. So you want the rim of the case to be the one contact for the battery, and then the top center to be the other contact for the battery. Um, that way your battery will always get good solid contact, your circuit won't get confused, and life will go on unabated. Let's get to work. Okay, the first thing you want to do is deconstruct your tea light. Right, and there is your magic. Save this for later. These can be handy for mini bases or columns or whatever. I mean, if you're a crafter like me, you're keeping all kinds of silly junk around. All right, so stow that. So here is what you're working with. This is one flickering LED bulb with a switch and then your spring-loaded, totally awesome hatch with battery, okay? So, the goal is to eliminate as much of this plastic base as possible without ruining the, the functional machinery. Here are the goodies. You've got an LED bulb, uh, a positive contact, and a negative contact that forms like a little collar. So what we're gonna do is use the remaining um, connections on the LED light here, these two connections, and we're gonna solder new wiring to these contact plates. If you're into miniatures, you're used to things being tiny as hell. Your bulb and your battery, and you can just do that. Okay, that's when you know which one needs to go to which contact. The positive contact, i.e. the top of the watch battery, is gonna go through this little hole to the center piece right there. Okay, we're getting ready to solder um, our first connection. So I've got, I know this is hard to see, but <laughs> I've got a piece of a paper clip that's going to extend the contact on the LED. Now, uh, for those of you who are new to soldering out there, uh, it can be a, an interesting experience learning to solder. It's a very unruly material. Um, but here's my best tutorial on how to do it the easy way. So, you've got your tiny piece of solder just perched right where your material is going to fuse. Then just come in here with your iron and just without moving it, hopefully. Get in, tiny bit of pressure. 
melts. Place him right there on the joint. This is this is micro 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 level welding basically. There you go. Get your gun lined up. Hold your piece. Contact and melt. Let it be. So if you do one teeny little piece on each side, you'll get a, a fully uh, encapsulated solder. So the the solder will go all the way around the joint. Okay, now we're going to do this on the other contact. Okay. So I don't know if the light helps seeing there. See my two little blobs? Two little solder blobs. You see my blobs are bigger than they need to be. But there is a little bit of structural strain on these contacts. So on my prototype, I really learned it's much better to err on the side of too much solder. And we're looking good. We're gonna replace this little guy. This is the top contact. In the um, shrink tube earlier, there's some shrink tube. What I can do with the shrink tube is put it over one of my solders like that, and it will prevent them from ever touching each other and shorting out. So shrink tube's pretty simple. You just put it over the connection Heat it up with a lighter. And as the name implies, it will shrink to fit. There you go. Just like that. So there's my little pole up the middle. There I've got my center contact. And see my little wire sticking out? That's my negative contact. And there we go. So test your lid, which you've kept on the side here. And we're good. All right, we are ready for the artsy part. I used the plastic flame piece that they give you, that little guy, but then I kind of glued him up. Um, so first step is just put a drop inside this thing. Like half. Huh? And then boop, stick it right in there. There you go. Now later you're going to dress it up with some more glue to give it a little more of a fiery torch thing. That uh, texture that'll fit your your world a little better. Um, but that's that's it right there. All right, we're back, and we have our completed torch. So we got a pair. Looky there. So did the same thing. A little bit of gray rocks around the edge or the base. And now I got two. So my paint's drying. Got a removable battery and it all worked out great. Good luck making flickery LED torches for your dungeon board. And uh, until next time, stop. <laughs>